Despite accusations that Angela Dean was an accessory to her daughter's sex crimes, none of that has ever been proven. It does appear, however, that she has been harboring Scotty in the same house where her six grandchildren live. What we know is that Scotty was at Angela's house over the 4th of July weekend for a cookout. There's video of her. And yes, the kids were there too. This is chilling. Scotty Deem entered a guilty plea as part of a deal with the court. She admitted to committing sex crimes against a young boy. Scotty was then sentenced to 20 years behind bars. Instead, in May of 2020, Scotty was released amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. She had only served 15 months of her sentence. Scotty was released on parole, a parole that ended in January of this year. Scotty was shown on Angela's first season with the franchise. Whether TLC was unaware of the charges against her or simply didn't care, that remains unclear. This franchise does not have a good track record with excluding people with alarming, horrifying criminal records. Since then, Angela's on-screen interactions have been with another daughter, Skyla. Skyla lives at Angela's home, and so do Angela's six grandchildren some of whom are Scotty's. Reportedly, Angela took custody of Scotty's children prior to her incarceration. Independence Day fell on a Sunday this year. Over the July 4th weekend, Angela had a small cookout. Among her guests were 90 Day Fiancé blogger John Yates and his husband, Cody. Obviously, cameras were rolling much of the time. At one point, John Yates went live from Angela's, very familiar to viewers, kitchen. John was speaking with another blogger, Cheryl from Cheryl's World. As conveniently highlighted by 90 Day Fiancé blogger that mommy says bad words, you can see Scotty in the background. Seeing a sexual predator and knowing what they have done even if details are vague is enough to turn anyone's stomach. Knowing that the convicted monster is in a house with children. Well, that's worse. Later, as you can see in the video that we have included, John shared a video of him and Cody doing a rundown of food. In the background behind the grill, you can see Skyla, a couple of Angela's grandchildren, and also Scotty. It is also revealed, verbally, that some of the chicken is intended for Scotty. Scotty's name was said aloud. Fans who had hoped that they were simply mistakenly assuming that a previously unseen cousin realized that it was not the case. Scotty was there. Why would Angela allow her around the children, or even into her home? They don't value those kids at all. What a shame, remarked one commenter on Instagram. Unbelievable this is allowed by the law, another lamented. An additional follower commented, I'm surprised Scotty is allowed to live with children given her conviction. These fans are right. There are many things to bring to a 4th of July cookout. Sexual predators should never be part of the list. What is happening? First, it looks like this might not be a violation, because Scotty's parole ended months ago. Sometimes there are conditions for release, but presumably Scotty is not breaking any rules. It is a shame how little our legal system cares about the well-being of children. We do not know for sure if Scotty is living with Angela, or was simply visiting for the holiday. But fans are outraged either way. Given how well Angela responds to criticism, it's unlikely that she will be moved by a public outcry.